Good morning, beautiful twin flames. Good morning from Australia. I'm so happy to see you here today. And um, I just wanted to say thank you to all who have subscribed and liked and commented on my channel. Um, it's really appreciated because we're going to begin to start a wonderful community here where you can, you know, take a look at the comments from others and feel free to, you know, comment on other people's comments as well. Okay, if you feel that, if you feel guided to, you know, talk to others. Okay, I also have some Divine Masculines watching this channel. So a big hello to you. Thank you for following me here. Um, today is all about a twin flame advice uh, and channel tarot reading. So what we're going to be doing is looking at the um, thoughts, feelings and actions of both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And then we're going to look at some advice on how we can bring this all together so that hopefully we can come into union very, very much, very much quicker. <laughs> I don't know why am I tongue-tied which one of you is tongue-tied today the divine masculine or feminine feels a little bit tongue-tied I'm not sure which one yet the other thing is I do have a brand new manifesting twin twin flame union paid video it's a one-hour instructional video and it's 44 AUD if you are interested please contact me my email is below I have my ascension package as well which you can do in modules and that brings you into union with yourself first and fo foremost and <laughs> I'm still tongue-tied wow and then into union with your twin flame if you so choose to do so okay uh, the other thing I do if you're not aware is I do uh, twin flame readings soulmate readings and general life path readings as well Okay, so just letting you know all of that. And I think what I'll do is <clears throat> Divine Masculine wanting to speak. Okay, so I'm just wanting to shuffle on camera so that you can see that I'm shuffling. However, I did have, when I was pre-shuffling, I had some cards fly out of the deck for the Divine Masculine and also for the Divine Feminine. All right, so I just wanted to let you know that before I begin. And I hope you're having a beautiful day, night, afternoon, evening or morning, wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to eat healthily, get some sunshine every day, drink plenty of water, eat vitamin B12 foods and foods with iron, fruit and vegetables, of course, of course, of course. And you'll feel better alrighty so Wow divine masculine divine masculine's got a lot to say so I think I'll leave that as kind of advice to divine feminine at the end but the ones that flipped out for divine feminine are these okay so we've got the Emperor and we've got the nine of wands in reverse and the chariot here so divine feminine this is an energy of you know I'm kind of glad when divine masculine takes control I'm kind of glad when he takes the reins of the twin flame journey because I don't want to be in charge of this I don't want to be in charge I'm kind of glad when he tells me a little bit what to do, not in a controlling way, but in a, <laughs> you know, he cares enough like a father kind of way, but he's also the who's your daddy, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's a very confusing energy, but it's not really because, you know, the feminine wants to feel protected, wants to feel nurtured, wants to feel loved. And so does the masculine in different ways. Okay, so let's see. Divine Feminine, I'm so proud of you. Wow. 
just quickly while I'm getting divine feminine and masculine putting these cards down I wanted to mention the video that I uploaded yesterday it was an urgent message and the urgent message was related to you know the divine masculine warning the divine feminine about a man that could be coming back into her life or a man in general coming into her life <clears throat> and it was a warning so if you haven't seen that, go and watch it. You know, if someone just randomly out of the blue is texting you, calling you, trying to get your attention, Divine Feminine, there is a warning there, okay? So if that, if that you know, resonates with you right now, go and watch that video because your Divine Masculine is trying to warn you, all right? So let's see here, we're going to start, we're going to go Divine Feminine Masculine, Divine Feminine Masculine, Divine Feminine Masculine, and then we're going to tie it all together, okay? Bottom of the deck, Divine Feminine's been having a transformation for quite some time. She's been trying to take more care of herself, she's been trying to understand, you know, if her divine masculine's not coming in, how can she be happy regardless? Right? You know, if he's working, if he's busy, if he hasn't contacted her for months and months and months, which for some of you, you know, some of your divine masculines are only just coming out of this hibernation stage because, and a lot of them have been working, okay, or healing, or healing, right? So what happens is Divine Feminine goes, well, you know, if he's not here, I need to kind of work on what what I like. Because if he's not here, I'm kind of on my own, <laughs> right? Not always on your own, you know, you've got family, friends and whatever, but you kind of have to come into that place of being happy from within. And that's what Divine Feminine's doing. However, <laughs> Divine Feminine, what are you thinking about here? <laughs> we know what you're doing. You're thinking about the Twin Flame journey. You're thinking about <laughs> Sexy Charlie coming and riding in and sweeping you off your feet. You're perhaps checking out his social media, thinking about the photos he sent, thinking about the conversations you've had. <laughs> so although you're focused on yourself you're still very much focused upon the twin flame journey and I think that's beautiful because this is your counterpart this is the one you are in love with okay and so I think when you focus your attention on love and you become into that loving space excuse me <coughs> wow divine masculine is trying to say his peace hang on <laughs> hang on divine masculine it'll be your turn in a minute okay so i've nearly finished with divine feminine so even though she's focused on the love as long as she's being loving in her own life with the people places and situations around her she'll bring in the love of the divine masculine okay so that's kind of beautiful <laughs> right divine masculine making me cough as usual he's saying tell her tell her tell her I've been thinking about being a fool for love too you know, I'm thinking about this too, but I'm still going through this transformation. You've been through yours. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still doing mine, right? Okay. So he's got this, there's this contemplation energy here in the mind space 
and sometimes he feels like coming in in this beautiful way but for those of you in separation they're still trying to transform their life because you know what's going on in the world right now it's like the apocalypse isn't it kind of thing that's what it feels like and so they're trying to get their bearings in a new kind of world in their thinking space this is in their thinking space okay <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, we have four cards which are sticking out to me here. And isn't it interesting? Justice is in reverse and the lovers is in reverse. And, you know, the divine masculine feels like there's an injustice here with regard to the decision he's got to make about the twin flame journey. For many of you, there's a third party situation in the way perhaps they're married or you are or, you know, with someone okay and he doesn't like it he really doesn't like it there's this energy I don't like it and for those of them that are married or in relationships with other women they're trying to get away from this they, they don't want to be with the other woman okay they're not interested in the other woman even if they're in a relationship with them like a marriage or something right they're not interested right they're interested in the soulmate twin flame I shouldn't say soulmate because that's not the same they're interested in their past life relationship the one they know is the true one and that's you divine feminine Okay, they're bored in their current situation, which has been coming through in the cards recently. So they're focused on work. Okay. Some of them have to get out of a marriage or a commitment of some kind. And that's the truth. The truth is that's what they have to do to come into you. That's a big story from Divine Masculine. Why I was coughing. Okay. Divine Feminine is feeling feeling like there's not enough communication. If there is communication at all, there's not enough communication, she's saying. There's not enough communication, you know. Just come in already. Can't you hear the call? <laughs> she's about ready to grab the trumpet in some cases and just go do 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 <laughs> over his house, perhaps. Come on already. What are we waiting for? Life's too short to muck around sometimes, she feels. Okay. She may have a blindfold on and she may have her arms crossed over here. However, as she's closing her eyes and folding her arms over here, She's feeling him. If he's not coming in in the third, third dimensional reality, he's definitely coming in telepathically here. And it feels like water around her. That's what it feels like. It feels like. And for some divine feminines, it feels like when you sit out in the sun and you can feel the sun shining on you, upon you. It's a very beautiful energy. And so she's feeling her way through the twin flame journey at this present time if she's not getting messages coming in. Now, divine masculine's feeling space is, you know, I'm pretty exhausted right now. I'm pretty stressed out right now. He's allowing especially in the recent past, he's been allowing these karmic situations to get to his head. Okay. Instead of coming at them in unconditionally loving space, he's blocking his heart off and going, you know what? I just don't care. I don't give a rats about what's going on. I'm just going to 
focus on my work. And when all this drama is going on in his third dimensional reality, you know, in the real world, as opposed to his 5D connection, telepathic soul connection with you, Divine Feminine, he just goes, you know what? I don't feel very passionate anymore. You know, it's very difficult for him to feel passionate, to feel sexy, to feel... like he wants to make love or you know those kind of feelings it's difficult because other people places and situations are burdening him a lot and so he's tired a lot of them are coming straight home from work and going to bed a lot of them are like you know I just want to get my work done and go to bed which is kind of sad The action space for the Divine Feminine is, you know, la, 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 la. <laughs> What's that song? La, 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 You know, that do, 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 do. And that woman screams, ah. <laughs> I'm joking around. I'm not trying to sing it for real. But, you know, she's like, <laughs> I don't know. What's that song called? Someone might know. You know, la, 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 la something like that anyway it's <laughs> she's trying to pretend that everything's gonna be rainbows and unicorns even though it's not come in yet right she's doing that because she doesn't want to feel like this anymore because her mind takes her to all these yucky places you know what if he doesn't come in what if he never calls me again what if this what if that you know, a lot of what ifs, worrying about the future. But she's learning to go, you know what? La, 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 la. <laughs> do, 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 do. And then the screaming. Ah. <laughs> Harry's going, never, ever do that again. Like, ever. Okay, I won't. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that screaming song. I don't know. That woman. <laughs> so she's trying to focus she might not have all her money together but she's trying to focus on her emotional well-being <clears throat> and if he doesn't come in he doesn't come in and if he does come in then that's great but either way she's going to be mentally trying to be stable here she's sick of feeling like that tied up in it all you know I'm very proud of you, Divine Feminine. You're doing a fantastic job here. Divine Masculine's action space. He's got some people to pay. Some bills. Some. <clears throat> He's trying to build his money. Like I said, focused on work. He also wants this. If we imagine that's a phallic symbol or a penis, <laughs> he does want that too, but in the right way, right? Not just for fun. He wants to, he wants it for a lifetime, you know, what are the, what's that saying? I want you for a, a good time or a lifetime. I think it is something like that, you know. Do you, want, do you want it for a good time or for a lifetime? And he's saying, I want it for a lifetime. I want it for a lifetime. <clears throat> he's been through it, Divine Masculine. He's seen a lot of things and so he's not silly. You know, he knows, he knows what friends with benefits means and he knows what, you know, that all that lusty kind of stuff. He's seen that been there done that got the postcard you know he's looking for someone to marry someone to have union with knowing that that's divine feminine knowing that that's divine feminine wow divine feminine you're coming through as very grounded today 
<clears throat> he still wants to speak. Divine Feminine, I don't know that I've got a heap of advice to give you except to keep going. Shall we listen to what Divine Masculine wants to say? Let me just see if you've got anything to say quickly first. It's being very pushy. She's saying, don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. Let's have some fun. Right? Let's feel like this. She's giving him advice today. Let's feel like this. Let's go back to this innocence. She's also saying, what good is it holding on to all this money? There's no justice really in the money department. Especially if you're exhausting yourself, right? Let's get rid of this third party situation in the way. If we both agree to that. I want you to be my king. I don't want you to feel burdened. Because I'm your empress. Wow, look at this. She's coming through as the empress today. She's saying, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. This can denote a water sign. Some of you have divine masculines that are water signs. Some of you are earth signs, divine feminine. This is what she's saying. Look, let's just do this. Let's work everything out. Let's work all of the issues out as we go along. Let's make the decision to work with God, Allah, Buddha, whoever we believe in. You know, perhaps it's just spirituality, but let's make the decision to make this a divine union. Right? We're both ready. We both really are ready. We just need to help each other get to that next stage. You know? You know you love me. I know I love you. I'm pretty grounded right now. You haven't been so much, but you know, in your highest vibration, divine masculine, look at you. You're amazing. Amazing. I still want to know what that song's called. La 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 la. La 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 la. <laughs> it's a crazy song. You know where she's like just about breaks the glass. Right. Divine Masculine, what do you want to say now, mister? Oh, dearie me. Yeah. He's like, I'm trying not to be sad. I'm trying not to be sad. People have really put me through it, though. I'm really trying not to be sad. I want to move in with you. I love you. I know you can heal me. I know you can heal me. I do hear the call. I know you're the truth. I know you have enough knowledge for this journey with me. Okay. I want us to do this. Move away together into calm waters. Move away with this knowledge. Move away with this beautiful on high energy this is sacred energy here so let's get some advice now what do you need to do divine masculine to help your twin flame journey divine masculine what do you need to do message from spirit now what is spirit suggesting that you do because it seems that there's some karmic people around you that have put you through it right right for a while They always say the right things. Wow. Divine Feminine. Yours came out straight away. Okay. Should we do Divine Feminine first? I think we're up to her. The cards have all come out. All right, Divine Feminine. Stay strong. Look after your solar plexus. Look after your sacral chakras. Okay. You can eat yellow foods you can eat orange foods you can listen to power songs that make you feel good okay high vibrational music though not stuff that 
takes you back into the past or into some emotional yuckiness. Okay, Spirit is saying work with us, work with us, connect with your creator as you connect with your creator, whoever that is for you, right? This broken heartedness that you feel will go away. You know, anything past in the past that's come back to bite you in the bottom at any time, okay? So if you're feeling low, go to source, go to source, go to source, go to source, all right? It's like a pyramid, you know, one twin flame is here on the bottom, the other one's here, and you go to source. Go to your creator, right? Spirit are saying, don't worry about your divine masculine if he's been a little bit off lately. A victory is coming for him. Many of them need to break out of this commitment with someone else. Many of them are starting to realize that the true love is coming from source and from twin flame, the counterpart. There's no more of this energy, divine feminine, not that you're showing up like this, but for some of you, you worry a little too much about the connection. Okay. So don't worry about it because when you worry, you bring more worry for those of you who are worrying. No more worrying. Come into this energy. Tame your ego. This is someone getting messages from on high and taming their ego. Coming into this unconditionally loving heart space. Okay. When you open your heart chakra, right you can give out love and you can receive love you can still have boundaries but never close the heart chakra off because it can cause a lot of things to go wrong physically mentally and spiritually you want to stay open okay the advice <laughs> for divine masculine is Remember how good it was when you messaged your divine feminine, how good you feel? Stop working so hard. Stop overthinking everything. This is what you've been doing recently. Right? You don't need to defend yourself in your karmic situations because your creator, <coughs> right, and your twin flame are here making this pyramid again, making this triangle. Okay, literally got one twin flame here, one twin flame here, and when they look to God, Creator, Allah, Buddha, whoever that is for you, the power comes down and connects them. Okay, it's a very interesting way of explaining how it works, but the more you focus on your Creator, the more you'll see the twin flame journey come in. Divine Masculine, if you're drinking or overindulging in some drug or partying or doing these distorted things, stop this now. Stop this now because it will take away your passion. All right? You don't want to be hiding away from your problems by using something outside of yourself. Okay? You don't want to be hiding... And this is for Divine Feminine too, for those of you who do drugs or alcohol, or anything outside of yourself. Okay. Obviously, if you have an addiction to something, you could need help and this takes time to get rid of it. So this isn't a... Uh, uh, this is no judgment here. It's just that when you want to come in to being who you are, you don't want to be looking outside of yourself for a rush, whether that's pornography, whether that's food, whether that's cigarettes, whether that's alcohol, whether that's a drug, whether that's, I don't know, pepperoni pizza. You know, you're all guilty of it, aren't you? Tacos. <laughs> so everything in balance, all right? If you want to have a glass of wine with dinner, have one glass of wine with dinner. Don't drink five bottles of wine. Because then you're unbalanced, okay? <clears throat> Go as you're guided. Do as you wish, of course. But just know 
that if you're trying to connect with your creator which brings you know which also connects in with your twin flame you want to be as pure as you can from the inside and on the outside okay so you want to wash yourself wash your clothes cleanse the inside of yourself by eating good food healthy food drinking lots of water getting sunshine praying if you pray having some kind of spiritual practice okay <clears throat> you can't have a clean relationship if you're coming into it dirty does that make sense <coughs> excuse me some divine masculines are smoking a lot could be marijuana could be cigarettes could be I don't know what are those things called where you use the pipe or something all right so as I say there's no judgment here I'm not trying to judge but if you're trying to come into a into a beautiful sacred and pure relationship you need to be taking care of your body your mind your emotional space and your chakra system okay you need to come into union with your twin in a clean way okay and if you need help to do this that's what my ascension package is for um, okay so I just this is a quick exercise I want us to do just all twin flames who feel guided to do I want you to close your eyes okay and what we're going to do is we're going to imagine in between our legs okay we're going to imagine we're going to breathe in and then breathe out through the heart chakra okay we're just going to do it three times and I just want you to feel the difference okay ready so we're going to take a deep breath and then out in out in out now as I'm talking you can keep going <clears throat> excuse me some of you are smoking stop it <laughs> if you're guided to stop it I can feel it coming through all right so deep belly breathing you can do for five minutes morning and night okay if you suffer any type of anxiety this will help you um, it actually scientifically biologically tells your vagus nerve to calm down so that you know if you feel stressed um, you know it'll automatically calm you down so you do it for five minutes twice a day morning and evening um, and it will help you to feel centered and balanced and calm and it will also help you if you're trying to get over any kind of addiction okay now the reason we have addictions uh, just very quickly is because we're not coping inside you know there's something inside you know we've got some kind of fear we've got some kind of um, you know either a past worry or a future worry or something that makes us reach outside of ourself you know whether that's a pizza whether that's pornography whether that's a cigarette whether that's you know too much alcohol Okay, so what happens is we reach outside of ourselves when we get afraid or when we aren't coping or when we feel stressed okay and that's how addiction begins okay you know some people might even be addicted to um, gaming on a computer you know what I mean there's all different types of addictions okay so if you're doing that you're reaching outside of yourself to cope so it's like if every time I felt afraid I went and made a cup of um, I don't know a gin and tonic right and I'm like everything's gonna be fine now I've got my gin and tonic you know you're literally seeking something outside of yourself to cope so with deep belly breathing it allows you especially when you do it you know if you do it for a week if you practice it for a week for five minutes twice a day you'll notice the difference you'll notice that you won't be trying to cope outside of yourself okay as much 
because obviously if you have an addiction that's severe it's going to take some time to get through that deep belly breathing remember in for five from in between the legs out through the heart you do that for five minutes you will notice a change in yourself it's also great for children who are you know have any kind of stress if you've got kids you know you can do it with them you can sit down or lay down with them and do it it's better if you sit up though because then you're getting the air right into your lungs and out again okay so I for some reason I brought that up you know some of you need less go 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 in your life some of you need this so this is why it's coming up I also feel that some of you are lacking in the amount of water you drink you know some of you are counting that you know if you've had five cups of tea that you've had water or if you've had 18 coffees that that's water because there's water in it but I want to uh, tell you that water is you know works in a different way than tea and coffee do with inside the body and in fact you know especially tea is a diuretic and that word means that it makes you wee more so it'll actually be you'll be eliminating you know what you've put in far quicker than when you're drinking water and so I want you to just know that when you increase your uptake in water you'll start feeling better because your body is made up of water mostly <laughs> as well as other things as well as magic <laughs> and I don't know some of you might have feathers inside you some of you are like angels do you know what I mean <laughs> anyway I've talked for way too long as usual and Harry's winking at me saying it's time for me to make him some tacos Charlotte still hasn't come back he's still waiting <laughs> so I want to send you a beautiful day night afternoon evening or morning wherever you are in the world if you need to reach out to me please do uh, if you haven't watched the warning video about the you know for divine feminine the man coming back into your life or a new man trying to stray you off course please watch that it's the video before this one um, and it's an urgent video for those of you guided to watch that okay uh, what else do I have to tell you today I'm going to be starting doing some uh, star sign reading soon so uh, when will I start that tomorrow I'm going to um, do you know earth signs water signs air and fire um, and I'll do it'll be like a divine masculine love letter um, but it'll be for the particular air sign so it will be for your yeah I think I think that's what I'll do I don't know we'll see what happens but just keep an eye out for those it'll be a love reading nevertheless all right so I'm sending you angel blessings from Australia I hope you have a beautiful day night afternoon evening or morning wherever you are in the world and I want you to take care of yourself divine feminine you're doing a great job divine masculine you need a big slap <laughs> a virtual slap you know take care of yourself better you know you've only got one vessel one body one mind one soul okay take care of all of it all of it matters what you do to yourself affects your counterpart as well okay so look after it <laughs> and I'll see you real soon bye everyone bye